All right, so you know that feeling. When you wake up after a big night out and the memories are a little hazy, uh -huh. well, get ready, because tonight we're diving headfirst into the St. Petersburg nightlife. Oh, sounds fun. And the best part, no hangover. Unless it's a knowledge hangover, but trust me, you'll want this one. We're talking about Yuri Milyovsky. Okay, yeah, I've heard that name. Ake Kamilich, right? Yeah. This guy is basically a legend when it comes to throwing parties legendary parties. I've heard whispers, legends from, you know, friends who've been uh, lucky enough to experience the scene firsthand. It's supposed to be something else entirely. Wild, right? And what's cool is we actually have his website. Yeah. Which, you know, in this day and age is like a primary source, yeah. right? Yeah, a digital window into into his world. This is good stuff. It's all in Russian now. <laughs> so uh, good thing you're here. <laughs> Our resident Cyrillic whisper. Well, you know, someone's got to do it. So just like first impressions, scrolling through this thing, what's the vibe? What's Millich's whole deal here? Okay, so right off the bat, you realize Millich isn't just some guy DJing in a basement somewhere. Like this isn't just a bio, you know, this is like you said, a movement. This is documentation of a whole subculture he's curated. This is a guy who shaped St. Petersburg's nightlife for like decades, man. Multiple generations of club goers. Wow, and they call his team like his crew, right? But they don't just call it a crew. It's a dream team. What did you make of that? Oh, yeah. It's not by accident. It's intentional, that wording. This is bigger than just one person, you know? They've got a shared vision. It's a collective. And, and the tagline, man. Oh, yeah. That tagline. Let's talk about a mission statement. Our business is not to build. Our business is to illuminate heavy right yeah they're not just throwing parties to throw parties man there's something deeper they're shining a light on something illuminate right like what's being illuminated any guesses well i mean we kind of get a sense from the lineup i mean you're talking breccia bodzin koletsky i mean these are heavy hitters in the techno scene huge international artists oh yeah for sure these aren't just like your average DJs, this is serious talent. Exactly, like pushing the boundaries of techno, attracting like a very dedicated global following. For sure. But here's the thing, then Millich, he throws this total curveball. Alaula Pugacheva. Alaula who? You're gonna have to, um, who's that? Only the biggest name in Russian pop music, ever. Right. Seriously, QGE. So imagine, right? You've got these like hardcore techno heads in one place, and then boom, you've got like diehard Pukacheva fans, and they're all under one roof, brought together by Millich. That's pretty incredible when you think about it. It's wild, right? Blending worlds you'd never think would mix, but somehow it works. So it's like more than just taste in music, right? It's like mm -hmm. he's curating this whole experience, this dialogue between these totally different parts of Russian culture. Exactly. Like, think about it. This is Russia, right? We're talking about a country with such a complex history, societal layers, and this guy Milich, he's out here creating this unique space where anything goes. It really makes you question what we think we know about Russian nightlife, how subcultures operate there. Makes you think. It does, doesn't it? And the fact that he's been doing this for years, with, like you said, multiple generations of club goers coming up through this scene, that's got to mean something, right? It speaks to a deeper need, for sure, for this kind of illumination, which, going back to that tagline, takes on a whole new meaning, right? It does, because what is he illuminating? I mean, what are we, like, on the outside looking in, maybe missing? Well, I think it sheds light on the diversity within Russia itself. You know, we often get this very specific narrative about Russia. Right. And then you see this this vibrancy, this eclectic taste, a real hunger for something more, something beyond just what we're used to seeing. And it challenges those assumptions we have, you know, uh, totally. like a little peek behind the curtain. It really is. Yeah. And we often say it, but this time I really mean it. It's about so much more than just partying. Oh, absolutely. It's about self-expression, you know. Hmm especially in a context where that's not always straightforward or easy. It makes you wonder what other stories are out there. Right. What other subcultures are thriving just below the surface, you know, just waiting to be discovered. What else is being illuminated that we're missing? I think that's a perfect place to leave it. Yeah. Makes you think. Definitely need to do another deep dive on this. <sighs> Who knows what other rabbit holes we'll find. Count me in. Perfect. <laughs> Until next time, then. Cheers to that.